Today, May 1st, 2018, the TCL 6 Series of Roku TVs hits the market. This is the new high-end line of Roku TVs from TCL that offer all kinds of features and a new fresh look to the body of the TV. But I've been getting a lot of questions. What's the difference between the 6 Series and the 5 Series? Where do they stand out? Why would you spend the extra money? Because the 6 Series does cost a lot more money than the 5 Series. Well, let's dive in here. They are very similar. They're both 4K HDR, um, Dolby Vision HDR with that to boot. But the differences start with the body. The 5 Series is the plastic frame, plastic stand that you've come to expect from Roku TVs and really other brands in the same price point that are, for the most part are all plastic now. Where the 6 Series offers a metal frame, a more modern arched looking stand with a brush metal um, frame on it to give it kind of more of a modern high-end look and feel. Uh, past that, the specs are extremely similar. The difference though comes in the contrast zones. Uh, with the 55 inch, you have 96 zones, which allows it for independent gamma control and color and all kinds of stuff, which basically means when part of your screen is a deep black, they can dim that side of the screen and give it an even deeper, darker black look. When another side is supposed to be a vibrant, um, splashy colors, you can have a brighter zone over there to make that bright color look even brighter. That means that instead of having a uniform brightness, a uniform control of the, the gamma and all kinds of different settings across the screen, you can now have independent zones on the TV making for the best possible picture where the 5 Series does not do that. The 5 Series is pretty much what you would expect from the P Series in 2017. It's basically the slightly upgraded version of the 2017 P Series in 2018. They've rebranded it to the TCL 5 Series. The 6 Series is the high-end version that brings in these um, zones. 96 on the 55 inch, 120 zones on the 65 inch 6 Series. Both offer um, 802.11ac wireless for great wireless streaming and Ethernet, three HDMI ports with a um, at 2.0a and a 2.2 HDMI port on there too. Past that, you know these are extremely high-end Roku TVs like we haven't seen before. That does bring a slightly premium price. Um, if the metal body frame isn't important to you, if you're somebody who um, looks at HDR, you may say, that looks nice, but I'm not really all that big of a picture nut. Maybe the 5 Series is the one for you. But if you're somebody who says, hey, the picture on the screen, I want my blacks to be dark, I want my colors to be bright and vibrant, the 6 Series may be the one for you. Uh, there's really no wrong answer here other than one's going to cost you a lot more than the other. I hope that explains the difference between the two TVs and why you may want to think about getting the 6 Series if you're looking for that more modern high-end look versus the 5 Series with the pretty standard plastic base, plastic frame that's come pretty standard on TVs in the sub $1,000 price range recently. And with if you're not looking for the um, contrast zones on that. Questions, comments, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. And hopefully this video has helped you Make a purchasing decision. I will link to both of them in the show notes. And if it's helped you, hit a thumbs up. It really does help us. And also, if you have a question about cord cutting, join us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube for our weekly cord cutting Q&A show. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.